All right. Um, so this is for people that are going to be renting on Toro. I'm a Toro host. I have multiple cars on Toro. Now, if you want to have a good experience, and I'm not saying this is going to go all, you know, for everybody, but this is what you got to look out for. This is what you got to do if you want to have a good experience with Toro. First, I would recommend you to find hosts that have multiple cars and that have multiple trips, okay? Don't, you know, if you see a car out there and, oh, my God, look at this, but the guy only has that one car or, uh, and, I, and I could be wrong, but, um, you know, the guy has, uh, you know, bad reviews or, uh, you know, just started. I don't know. But probably, well, I'm going to say one car. If he has any of that, I, w I would rather go with somebody who has more than one car. You know why? Because they're treating this as a business. So you're going to have things like, for example, right now, one of my renters that's supposed to rent my car is late, right? It's already been 30 minutes. I guess he's, he's late, whatever. He's coming. And I'm like, okay, no rush. You know, this is a business. I don't care. Shoot, there's less miles on my car. So, I'm still getting paid. So, um, you know, I'm not going to charge him for... The, there's a late fee. And I'm not going to charge him for that. Because I'm not going to lose a customer because he was late. And then uh, there's millions of things that can happen. But, you're going to find somebody out there who's just doing it for the money. Like, he doesn't really care. He's just renting his car out when he's not using it or whatever, whatever the case is. He's going to charge you. He's going to charge you because he don't care. This is not a business for him. He's just doing it because he got a free car or extra money, whatever. He's not treating it as a business. So he's going to end up charging you. They're going to be charging you for any little thing that they could get money out of because, you know, it's not a business for them. They don't care about the clients. Unlike somebody like me who's, I'm going to want you to come back. I have a lot of people coming back to me just because of my customer service, you know. And it's good. I mean, it's kind of good that we have people like that, too, for me, because, uh, shit, they're going to end up coming back to me. Like, you know, they're going to rent a car to them. i like, yo, I'm going back to James. I ain't, I ain't going back to him. I just had a hard experience with the other guy. Oh, my gosh. I'm going back to James. That's me. So, you know, um, yeah, that's one thing. You know, uh, make sure you take a lot of pictures. Make sure you take a lot of pictures because let me tell you something. Um, and I'll let my renters know. A lot of my renters, I'm going to say most of them, they don't take pictures. You know, and I won't know until, you know, later on at the end of the route when I see, you know, the pictures that I uploaded. But they, they don't have any pictures uploaded. So make sure you take pictures. Because if anything happens uh, and you don't have pictures, you're fucked. I mean, unless, you have, unless you're fully covered, then you're, you're straight. But if you ain't putting insurance on that car, something happens to that car, you ain't got no pictures, you're fucking... Yeah, you have no proof. So it's like you're done. Anyway, um, what else? What other tips? You know, make sure you take pictures. Like right now, I'm about to. This guy's late, so I'm just gonna do some extra cleaning. But it's all right. And you know what I do also? If it's not, like right now, I have I kind of have something to do, but I'm not in a rush. But if I'm ever in a rush, I always leave a lockbox on my car. So, not giving the code. Like yo, here's the code. Oh no, yeah, no, don't worry about it. Straight. Damn, this guy's really cool, man. Fuck. Um, what other tips? And I could be wrong, you know, there's people just starting out. There's people just starting out, um, you know, only have one car, maybe two cars, so you never know. But you gotta see, you gotta never know. You never know. So, uh, it's just, you know, just be, be on the lookout. Um, 
what else? Yeah, that's it, man. Just take pictures. Uh, if you're if you're also the miles, like I had one this one girl that was like, oh my god, I didn't know I had this car for 19 days and I only had a thousand five hundred miles. And I'm like, uh, that's actually a lot of miles. Where the hell is you going? So, um, but that's a default. I have it on default. I told her that's a default. There's other people who lower that shit a lot. A lot. So, um, yeah, no. Um, what are the tips I got for y'all? I don't know. If I find some more tips, I will make a video on it. Okay? Alright? Okay? Alright.